What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Thor Pony from Roblox Piggy. Let's get started by drawing a large circle in the center of our page with an open end along the top. So we start on the top left, we curve the head going around, down along the left side, and then in towards the middle. Just work our way out towards the right, up, and we'll just pull that back in towards the right side. Now we close this gap with the bottom edge of the hairline. Start back on the right side, curve up and then down. Now it's gonna pull that back up on the left side. So round this out and then go up. Now we wanna brush the hair back over towards the right. From this point, we're gonna step down, curve out, up, and then in. Let's step back to create an overlap. Go up and then back down on the right. Go back up. I'm just going to curve the right side of the head, coming down and then in. Let's draw on the ears. We start on the top left. I'm just going to curve the ear going up, around, and back in towards the side of the head. Let's line this up on the right. Go up, down, and then back in. Now that we've defined the size of our head, let's move to the center and draw a circle for the muzzle. We we'll start right in the middle. Let's start with a point. And from here, we're just going to work our way around the left side. We're just going to come up above the chin. Go up on the right. Just pull that back up towards the top. Let's draw the nose along the top. Starting right in the middle, draw an oval. Going out, around the bottom then up on the right. And we'll draw two circles for the nostrils. One on the left, and then one on the right. Now we're going to move out to the side and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start on the top left. We'll draw that circle coming around towards the bottom, and back up towards the top. Let's line this up on the right side, coming in, down, and then back up. Let's push the left pupil over towards the side. We'll start from the side edge, draw another circle. Coming in, around, and then back out. Now we add a small circle for a highlight on the top left side of the right eye. So we come in, and then back out, and then we'll fill the outside of the eye in black. Now we're going to overlap the glasses on top of the head. Let's start over on the left side. Start with a curve, going up and then down. Now going back to the left side, we're going to curve the glasses, going up above the eye and then down, just extending past the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up towards the top of the eye and we'll bend that down. And we'll connect the outside to the inside with a curve. We come down underneath the eye, up in between the muzzle, and then in towards the inside. Let's go back and thicken up the upper edge of the frame. Start from the outside, start with a short line going up on either side. Now I'm just going to trace that curve going up in the middle, back down on the inside. And then we'll close off the center with a curve. Let's fill the top of the frame in black. Now I'm going to move down to the bottom of the glasses and draw two ovals for the cheeks. Let's start from the left side all the way down, and then back up. So now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We start over on the left side, underneath the head, curve the body going out, and then down towards the hip. 
move over towards the right side and do the same thing, coming down towards the same height. And then we'll close off the bottom, starting back on the left, curve down in the middle, and then pull that up on the right. And now we're going to add some detail to the body. Let's start with the collar. Underneath the head in the center, step down, start with the point, angle up and out towards the left, and then the right. And we'll move down and draw two circles. Let's start with the left one. Go all the way around, and then back up. Line this up on the right. And now we're going to draw four smaller circles along the bottom. Let's start back on the left, draw a slightly smaller circle. Line this up on the right side. Now I'm going to step down and do that one more time. Let's connect the inside of the top circle with a straight line going across. And then from the center, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. And then we're going to draw two angle lines going in behind the center circle. Let's start from the middle line, going up and out. We'll continue that line all the way out towards the side of the body. And then we'll do the same thing along the bottom. Stepping down, angle up and out. And the same thing on the right. Now we're going to continue working down the legs. In the center, step down, draw a curve, left to right, going up and then down. Now leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, curve the foot, coming down and then up. Now we're going to go back to the left side and draw on the top of the foot. Starting from the toe, we're going to curve up. I'm just going to bend this down, aim it towards the heel, almost like a half circle. Now moving back up to the hips, we're going to bend the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left hip. I'm just going to curve this out and then down on top of the foot. Let's move up from the top of the foot and add the edge of the boot. We're going to start on the left down and bend that up. Let's move back up and draw on the arms, but we're going to start by drawing the bottom edge of the cape. Let's start on the left side, start with the curve going up and then out. Line this up on the right, do the same thing. Let's add a fold along the top of the cape, starting back on the left, curve up and then bend that down. And at the top of that curve, we're going to go up and in behind the head. Now we're going to draw the left arm holding the hammer. So let's start in the center of the cape on the inside. Curve the arm coming down and then out towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to curl around the thumb. We'll go up and then down. Let's round out the bottom of the thumb and just pull that back up. Now we're going to wrap three fingers around the outside. Starting from the side of the thumb, draw a half oval. Going out and then in. Step down, draw that again. I'm just going to tuck this one underneath the thumb. Do that one more time. And now we're going to layer the handle in behind the fingers. Let's start from the left side. Start with a straight line going up. Go to the inside and draw that again. Now we're going to continue these lines underneath the hand. Start with the outside. Line up the inside and down. Close off the bottom with a curve. Let's go back up to the top and draw the bottom edge of the hammer. We're going to step out, draw a straight line going across the top of the handle. And from here, it's going to go straight up toward the top, almost like creating a square. And we'll close off the top with a straight line. Now we're going to add that bevel on the outside. Start from the top. Angle down and out. Go to the bottom, angle up, and then we'll close off the ends. And now we're going to add those stripes across the handle. Let's start from the bottom, stepping up, just follow that same curve, leave a gap, and we're just going to continue this up towards the hand and then along the top. 
Let's go back to the top of the wrist, curve the hand coming in. I'm just going to bend this out in behind the handle. We'll move in towards the inside of the palm, curve the arm coming in, and then up and behind the body. And then halfway along the arm, I'm going to add a curve, coming in and then down. Let's line up the inside of the arm over on the right side, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Then from the wrist, draw a half circle for the thumb. At the end, we'll add a bracket. Let's add in the three fingers. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, we come down and then up around the bracket. Step down, curve out, and then up. And then the third finger, we're going to go out, then the arm coming up, and then in behind the cape. Let's go back to the top of the thumb and draw the sleeve, going up and then out. And then halfway along the inside of the arm, curve up and out. Now you want to wrap the cape around the arms and then down along the bottom. Let's start back on the left side and curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll line up the outside of the cape underneath the arm, come straight down and then bend that out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to connect the bottom of the cape with a curve. I'm just going to pull this down and in behind the legs on both sides. I'm just going to blend this in towards the middle with a slight curve. And that's pretty much it. There's Thor Pony from Roblox Piggy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.